Hello, good evening and welcome back to the channel and tonight represents the end of an era as such because tonight is the last night that I have on my table the Hainsworth Smart Cloth that I've used for the last two years. It is almost the two year anniversary of me having this table and I'm going to show you tonight how it is I go about looking after a cloth such as this over the course of a couple of years and around about eight or nine thousand frames of pull plus hours and countless hours of practice. So here is a quick guide to show you guys how it is I take care of my table. So before we begin, let's quickly go over the equipment that I use. I have a couple of table brushes, one that came with the table, which is a larger one, and a smaller one that I bought since as part of a set with the original under the cushion brush that I bought, which I no longer have because I replaced it with the cushion brush that you see just there. Now the cushion brush allows you to get right in underneath the cushions where the dirt builds up after you keep pushing it down the table because you're trying to brush it with the nap. I also have a napping block which is very very useful. It means I don't need to iron my table at any point in time and I also have my Ambersil cleaner which smells absolutely lush and gives it a lovely sheen and keeps the table running nice and quickly and on top of that if it ever does get stained heaven forbid is your first defense for cleaning the table so the cleaning process for me and this is the table as i started cleaning it the other day um, is quite well intensive it takes about eight or nine minutes or so and i got told by a guy down the pub uh, the captain of the a team that I shouldn't be doing what I do, uh, which is brushing back and forth against the nap. But the truth of the matter is, when you've got a ground in chalk stain, uh, it's not coming out from you brushing just in one direction. As long as you replace the nap back where it was in the first place, then everything will be fine. And I always start off working top down. So I start with the cushions first, and I work around the outside of the table before I go any further. The cushions accumulate quite a bit of dirt because you're always putting the cue back and forward on the cushions, in particular the brake, and up by the brake line at the top there you will get quite a bit of dirt accumulate, especially since that is the point that you use frequently to brake from. As you can see here, I'm kind of sort of just running up and down the cushions here trying to get all of the chalk marks out of the cushions. Checking the nap there, making sure that absolutely everything has been taken out from the very top level and maybe brushed onto the table that's fine i'm going to deal with that in a moment it is really important that you get under the cushions of the table to get rid of all the dirt that accumulates which is why i'm doing this with the cushion brush right now I'm following the nap of the cloth, which is normally downwards from the bulk line to the black spot in all instances. About once every six weeks, I'll take the frame of the table up and brush off any dirt that I've not been able to get to from the bottom of the cushions and any residual dirt that has built up by the break end of the table. It normally takes about two people to get this done because you don't really want to be leaving the frame of the table on the bed itself, it can mark it because it's actually quite heavy. And now I'm doing the first brush of the table, trying to work out any of the ground in chalk marks from the last few frames. As you can see here, the table is a little bit aged and after two years or so, there are burn marks from where I'd normally break from as well as I'd, where I'd normally place the balls. These are somewhat unavoidable and happen with age and fair use. However, you can save the brake mark at the bulk line by buying brake pads, which are slips of plastic that you place on the table before you brake, as long as you don't mind fishing a piece of plastic off the table during your frame. Now, this is certainly something that is not recommended if you're playing a league game, but for home practice, it's not really a problem. I get the deeper chalk marks out by working the nap back and forwards before I finish the brushing going in the direction of the nap. When I get to the bottom of the table, I get all the dust that has accumulated and push it towards the pockets in the direction of the nap. 
You might want to get a small vacuum cleaner and suck the dirt out from the pockets if you do this. I finish by using the cushion brush one last time to push any remaining dust into the pockets once again. It is at this point I lightly spray the table with Amstel cleaner. I never spray it directly onto the table from a short distance, I try and let it cloud out and drop down. When I got to the end of the last can it began to globulise, for want of a better way of putting it, and almost stained the table, which is not at all desirable, so be aware that the can runs out faster than it seems. I brush the table with the nap once again to work the ambicil into the table and really bring out the colour. I then use the napping block to reset the mat permanently in one direction. As you can see, the napping block is designed to fit under the cushions and you need to work from top to bottom in one continuous movement across the table. If you're wondering what the napping block is, it is effectively just a big metal block covered in the same material that is on the table. So that when the two materials interact, it pushes the fibres of the cloth in that one direction that you want. And there you have it, a lovely, nice, clean, presentable table, all ready for another round of pool. And so there you have it, that is how I've kept good care of my cloth for the last couple of years. Uh, tomorrow the table fitter comes in and replaces the Hainsworth Smart with the Hainsworth Match in powder blue, which I'm quite looking forward to. Hopefully I'll also get rid of the roll on the table I discovered earlier on today, up by the top right hand corner up there. Uh, kind of explains the reasons as to why that pocket's been a bit harder than everything else to pot into, other than the fact that, you know, I keep missing. Uh, so, if you like this video, please subscribe, uh, like and share, probably not in that particular order, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Good night.